So I bought a new pie dish this week and like my dad probably would have said, I need another pie dish like I need a hole in the head. But in my defense, I wasn't really shopping for a pie dish. I was actually shopping for these in Target because I'd heard that they were carrying the new collector's edition aqua mason jars, which I had to have in the small, medium, and large sizes because I love big families. In a few more weeks, these are gonna be filled with pesto and canned green beans and peach preserves, among other things. Anyway, as I was walking away with my jars, this gorgeous rosewater pie dish just leaped off the shelf and into my cart. I tried to put it back, but then I noticed that it was under 10 bucks and I fall in love very easily at that price. Then I noticed how substantial and heavy it was. The thing must have weighed three pounds, three ounces, which I know because I weighed it. And it had this very wide grippable rim, which is always a plus when you're handling a hot pie. But in the end, what really sold me was how good looking the dish was. The rim has these shallow waves all around and the sides and the bottom have this delicate floral design embossed on the outside. Now, of course, I knew you'd be wondering how it performed, how it baked. So I took a little test run in it and baked a big summer fruit pie. The dish is deep enough to double as a swimming pool, so it held a lot of fruit and the bottom crust baked up golden and delicious. So thumbs up on the baking. Anyway, so that's the deal. It's a great pie dish at a great price. Uh, it caught my eye and I thought you might like to know about it too. And uh, I have no idea whether these things are gonna be in stock for two days or two more weeks or two months or whatever. But if you like it, uh, you should probably get there soon because you know how these things go. Uh, and incidentally, I did see these pans on Amazon, uh, but only as part of a baking set. So if you can't find it at Target and you're interested in that, I'll put the link below. This is Ken Hadrick, Dean of the Pie Academy. And if you're not already a member of our pie making community, uh, I hope you'll go to thepieacademy.com and uh, sign up. Uh, we'll send you great recipes. Uh, information about our pie getaways and all sorts of good stuff like that and future videos. So have a great day. Bake a bunch of beautiful fruit pies this summer, no matter what pan you do it in, and we'll see you next time.